Hi, this is Joseph from Spreadsheets Made Easy, and today I want to talk about the Scenario Manager. The Scenario Manager is a way for you to have a set of data, save that as a scenario, change that data, save it as a different scenario, and then come back and look at a previous scenario or compare the two scenarios side by side. And let's get started with what I have here. This data that I have here is a list of expenses and then a monthly income, total expenses, and then the savings. And obviously there's some issue here because you're dipping into your savings, you're losing money, and you want to try some different scenarios to see how you can improve your situation. So before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and set all these different expenses to a named range. And I'm going to do that with a little trick that I showed in a previous video. I'll link to the end of this at the end of this video. But basically I'm just going to create a bunch of named ranges. And you see here now I have rent mortgage, electric, and so on. I'm going to do the same thing with monthly income and total expenses here. Create from selection. Okay, great. And I'm going to create the first scenario. To do that, you want to select the cells that are going to change. So that'll be expenses. I'm going to hold control and click on monthly income. These are the cells that are going to change. And I'm going to save that as part of a scenario. So I'm going to click on the data tab, go to what if analysis, click on scenario manager. And right now we don't have any scenarios. I'm going to click on add to add one and I'm going to call it current. And we have our changing cells here, which we've already selected B4 through B16 and E3 for the monthly income. There's a comment section. You can add whatever comment you want to describe the scenario a little bit further. And then in the protection area, all this is doing is saying, if you prevent changes, what that means is when you protect the sheet, the cells that you said were changing will be locked and you won't be able to change them. We don't really care about this right now, so I'm just gonna click OK. And then there's another window that comes up that you can, you can change the values from here if you want, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to press OK. And now I have my first scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Close. And I'm going to say that, let's say in a few months from now, student loans are going to go to zero because you're going to be done paying them off. And let's just say that you're going to look for a new job and we're going to increase this monthly income to 2500 let's say. So now we have another scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here, select the same cells that are changing again. I'm going to hold control and select this monthly income as well. Come back to the data tab, what if analysis, scenario manager, and I'm click on add. I'm going to call this one new job. The changing cells again have already been selected. We have a comment here and we have the prevent changes again. We're just going to leave these as default, press OK. And I'll leave these the same as well, press OK. And now we have the two different scenarios. If I want to look at a previous scenario, I just bring up the scenario manager here, and I just click on another scenario, like current, and then click on show. And if you see, the monthly income goes back to 2000, and the student loans go back to 50. And from here, you can also create a summary. So I'm going to click on summary, and it's already figured out that these are the cells that I want to have the results show in, so the expenses versus the savings. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this as a scenario summary. And I'm going to press OK. And now Excel created a new table in a different worksheet that shows the different expenses. These are the changing cells, along with the monthly income at the bottom. And the current values is basically what the worksheet shows right now as the current scenario. And then we have the two different scenarios, which we called current and we called new job. And you can look at them side by side. You see the student loans went from 50 to zero. The income went from 2000 to 2500. And then the resulting cells, we have the total expenses listed here in the different scenarios. And then we have the savings, which we forgot to make a named range but these are this is the savings that's why we actually did the named range so that you see a, a better resulting summary but this is just showing you the different scenarios side by side which is a nice function of the scenario manager and that's basically it that's the scenario manager in a nutshell i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe and we'll see you next time